When the assassin Pausanias' identity was revealed, his motive was immediately surmised. Pausanias had been beloved of Philip, but Philip soon turned his attentions in the direction of a second Pausanias. Pausanias, the future assassin, called Pausanias, his replacement in Philip's affections, a hermaphrodite, willing to accept the amorous advances from anyone. A few days later, when Philip was fighting against the Illyrians and was about to receive a mortal blow, the second Pausanias jumped in front of him and absorbed the thrust that was meant to kill Philip and died heroically protecting the king and also, of course, establishing his own reputation for bravery. Pausanias' friend Attalus, the uncle of Philip's future bride Cleopatra, decided to avenge his friend. He invited the first Pausanias to a drinking party. After Pausanias came to the party and got drunk, Attalus handed him over to his mule tears to abuse, and they gang raped him. Afterward, Pausanias complained to Philip about his mistreatment. Philip, probably because of Attalus's status, decided instead of punishing Attalus to promote Pausanias and load him up with presents. Philip thought wrongly, as it turned out, that he had bought off Pausanias. Pausanias secretly was seething about what had happened to him. How credible is this story about the gang rape as Pausanias' motive for assassinating Philip? The first thing that we have to remember is that the gang rape took place at least eight years before Pausanias assassinated Philip. So if he were nursing a grudge, he nursed it for a very long time. And yet, no less an authority than Aristotle, who lived at the Macedonian court and certainly knew many of the principles involved, cited Pausanias' attack upon Philip as an example of violence committed as revenge for hubris, the Greek word meaning insolence, violence, or even rape. That said, it's also the case that the Macedonians themselves seem to have believed that Pausanias was part of a wider conspiracy. Who were the people supposedly involved in the conspiracy? According to the sources, one of those suspected was none other than Alexander of Lynchestus, who had led Alexander from the theater into the palace itself. And some modern historians have suggested that Alexander of Lynchestus somehow knew a little bit too quickly exactly what to do under these horrifying circumstances. Moreover, the sources also tell us that two of his brothers, men named Horomenes and Arabias, were thought to be complicit in the assassination conspiracy and were executed afterward. We also know that the three sons of Pausanias himself were executed in the aftermath of Philip's murder. Whether they were involved or not isn't quite clear because the Macedonians had a custom of executing the adult male relatives of those who were found guilty of plotting against the king. 
At least one other person was thought to be culpable in some way. From a fragmentary text of a papyrus found in Oxyrhynchus in Egypt, there are some lines in which a soothsayer or a mantis in Greek is mentioned who somehow was involved and was crucified in the aftermath of Philip's death. Unfortunately, the papyrus is too fragmentary for us to say anything about his alleged complicity. Some scholars have speculated that the soothsayer pronounced it safe for Philip to enter the theater on that fateful morning, but we really don't know. But the overall point seems to be that the Macedonians themselves, by their actions, are shown to have believed that although Pausanias acted alone in killing Philip, he was, in some sense, part of a wider conspiracy. And a conspiracy may have involved the two brothers of the man who swept up Alexander and brought him into the palace. So is it possible that the two brothers from Lyncestis were part of a coup d'etat? Or were there other people involved, such as the Persians?